Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to Unity for All. So, let's talk about what James Mattis said just a few days ago and put it in perspective. So, I'm going to read exactly what he said. All right. We will continue to prosecute the campaign against terrorists, but great power competition, not terrorism, is now the primary focus of U.S. national security. This strategy is fit for our time, providing the American people the military required to protect our way of life stand with our allies and live up to our responsibility to pass intact to the next generations uh, those freedoms we enjoy today. What does that mean? That, strictly put, read between the lines, what they are doing is openly They've been doing this subversively, covertly, via the CIA and so forth for decades, for 70 years. But they are opening the door to openly use the military as a response to global market competition. That's what they're doing. We've had the petrodollar, all the wars in the Middle East, uh, manipulated regime change and country after country, but now they're just pulling off the mask. China uh, has started the Petro One system in response to the petrodollar. And more and more countries are signing on to the Chinese system. China is opening up a new financial market uh, so in response to SWIFT. We've got BRICS rising as a response to the SWIFT system. <laughs> so America is our military is opening the door to respond to market competition, fair market global competition with military force. Even the EU in September of last year voiced opposition to our increasing forces in Eastern Europe. So, basically, Europe is against this. They want to open up more trade with Russia. More and more countries are signing trade deals with China. And this is going to be our government's response. Keep in mind something else I've been saying. The draft is coming. It is coming. In June of 2016, Congress approved females for the draft. That is the first official action regarding the draft since the early 1970s. Congress does not discuss the draft in abstract. That was planning. Military enlistment ha has not met quota for years now. That was why the military started uh, funding these patriotic displays at football games starting in 2009 because they weren't making quota since 2009 at least. They've been involuntarily extending enlistments, especially for skilled trades such as pilots, for years. 
not long ago, at least as of 2016, maybe 2015, the military was forcing uh, veterans to pay back bonuses that they had legally earned, but finding some kind of little technicality to say that they did not earn it and make them pay it back. Sometimes disabled vets had to pay back multi-thousand dollar bonuses which sometimes threw them into bankruptcy or foreclosure on their homes. You don't start treating your veterans like that unless you think you can just replace them at a lower cost without a choice. The draft is coming. I, I expected it to come in 2017. But so far, no. But it's coming. And the next step is going to be expand conflicts into more areas and intensify existing conflicts so that they they can claim that there is an ad, that there is a need for a draft the war is not meant to be one it is meant to be continuous george orwell 1984 It's time to wake up. What do we do about this? I'm, I'm lost. This one has me lost. But don't, don't sign up for the military. Don't let your children or grandchildren sign up for the military. When they enact the draft, it's time to hit the border. It's time to head to Canada or Mexico, or wherever the hell else you can go. But don't stay here. You know, just trade your walk-in part in the war for a lean roll in a cage. Don't, don't go. Refuse. Who's, who's benefiting from this? Is your freedom at risk? No. You're not defending anything about your freedom. You're defending the profits of multi, uh, multi-billion dollar corporations that are taking your freedom away on a daily basis, every day. So... We cannot allow this. The time is definitely coming to hit the streets. We are going to have to take it to the streets. They're not leaving us a choice. So, and, oh yeah, he made that speech just before the women's march this past weekend. Think anybody mentioned at the, at the ma- women's march? No. That might have actually given the women's march something to actually speak out about. So, yeah, we need to unify. Hell, bring it on. Maybe maybe they should enact the draft. Maybe that will be the final step to finally get people awake to actually unify and wake up. Maybe this is what we need. Because this country is not awake. You're still listening to mainstream media. You're still listening to one party against another. You're still in your cults. 
break out of it. You think the, that when the draft is enacted that the Democrats are going to oppose it? They're the ones pushing Russia, Russia, Russia. Hillary was the one saying we will respond to uh, electronic uh, alleged hacking attempts with uh, military, with economic, political, and military force. You think the Democrats are going to stand up for you? Or are they going to stand up for their military industrial complex donors? Do I really have to answer that? I should really hope not at this point. All right, so I got work to do. And share this video. Please hit like and subscribe. And if you can, please become a patron on Patreon. I'll talk to you later.